Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, we're going to answer a viewer's question on how we can copy sales values from one worksheet to another in Excel using Power Automate Desktop. This is based on a video that I've made earlier and I was copying the sales from one worksheet to another as they were. But this time we're going to move only the values. Let's do it. This bot is a bot that we've created in another video, and I will put a link to that video in the description and on the screens so you can find it easily if you're interested in that one as well. And instead of recreating everything from scratch, because we are interested in many steps from that bot, I've just created a copy. And if you don't know how to create a copy, when you're on the landing screen of Power Automate Desktop, you just select the bot you're interested in, you click on the three dots, and you select create a copy. So even though we're not creating something from scratch, I'm still gonna go through the steps that we're interested in. So at least you know what this is about. The first step that we have on this bot is to terminate the Excel process. And that is completely optional, but if Excel is open, then it will close Excel so we can perform the next steps. Then we launch Excel with a specific documents. And we're gonna change this path because I have another workbook that I'm gonna show you in a minute where I have some formulas in it. On step three, we're getting the first three column and the first three row from that specific Excel worksheet. And that is because we need to have our selection. And you can see below when we select the cells from Excel, we are actually using those variables, first free column and first free row. Once we've made our selection, we copy the cells from that specific worksheet. And finally, on step six, we are creating a new worksheet. And again, we're just gonna change the name of that worksheet to something more appropriate for this video. Steps number seven and eight, we don't need those steps in that particular case. So this one was specifically to paste the cells in that new worksheet as is. But this time we do not want to do that. So we're gonna get rid of it. And the last one is completely optional, but we're gonna delete it as well. Now let me show you the file that we are going to work with. And what we have here is four different columns. So the first column is the first name, then we have the last name, and the values are just plain text. But then for the full name and the email address, those are formulas. We calculate the values, and for that specific case, we are just concatenating the first name and the last name. And then for the email address, we have another formula where we add the domain at the end. Let's change the file that we are going to work with. And we're gonna browse for the document path. And we just grab the file and click on open. We're gonna leave the rest unchanged. We're gonna make the instance visible so we can see what's happening. And then we click on save. We also said that we're gonna give a new name to the worksheet and then click on save. And let's get rid of the last steps. Just select them both and hit delete. All right, now let's have a look at the Excel actions that we have on the left panel. I'm gonna expand the advanced. And what we are trying to achieve here is to paste the cells without the formula. We need to paste in a specific way. So let's see if we have something in here. And if you have a look at all the actions that we have, we can just paste the cells normally, but there's no special actions like we have in Excel. So how can we do this if we have no actions? And that's the moment where we need to think out of the box. It is not because we don't have any actions in Power Automate Desktop natively that we cannot do it. So let me go back into the Excel file. And when we are in Excel, what we can do is we can use shortcuts. And we're gonna do exactly what we would do manually. Part of the bot right now is selecting all those cells, grabbing them and putting them in another worksheet. So let's take the example of one specific column and one specific cell. So for example, this one, which has a formula in it, we're gonna copy that cell, control C on your keyboard, and we're gonna do Alt E, and you can see that the home tab is now highlighted. 
and we're going to press S on the keyboard. And now we have this paste spatial window that just popped up. If we want to grab the values, we're going to press V on the keyboard. And finally, we're just going to press enter to just close that window. So those are the shortcut and the keys that we're going to press on the keyboard to be able to paste the values into that new worksheet and not the formulas. So let's get out of there. I'm going to close the file. I'm not going to save. And after the add new worksheet, we're going to look for send keys. And under mouse and keyboard, we have send keys. Let's just drag this into the canvas. For the send keys too, we have a few options. If I expand the drop down, we have the foreground window, UI element, the Windows instance, or title or class. When we are in Excel, we can use the window instance. And then the second menu should show our Excel instance. And within the text to send, we can send some text and we can also send some encrypted text input. What we're interested in, in that case, we want to send a shortcut. And that shortcut, it's going to be Alt-E and then the letter S. So if we look into Insert Special Keys, we've got the, um, the miss. We can have the comma, the backspace, the enter. We have the arrow keys, so right, left, up, and down. But what we're interested in is Insert Modifier. And we have the Alt just right there. So I'm going to type everything and then I will show you the exact syntax. So we have Alt, then we have E. Again, we open curly braces and we put E. And we also need to press the S key on the keyboard. Just after that, curly braces and S. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to open a notepad and I'm going to make that bigger because I don't know if it's actually very clear what we have here. The shortcut itself is Alt-E. When you want to insert a modifier, so Alt or Control, we put that between curly braces. And then note that the E is also between curly braces, but also between parentheses. And the fact that you have the parentheses here means that those are together. This one is only between the curly braces. You will see in the next step, when we're going to type the V and the enter, we're also going to put them between curly braces, but not parentheses, because this is not a shortcut. Okay, I'm going to close this. Don't save. And then we can have a delay between the keystroke. Let's change that to 100. And then not visible here, but you have to scroll down and we need to toggle that on, send text as hardware keys. And then we click on save. The next step, again, we're going to send keys. Remember, we need to send V and enter. But this time, remember that when we press the Alt E and the S, then we have this window popping up. So we are not in the Excel instance at this point. So we cannot choose the instance. This time, we're going to leave it to the foreground window because that's the one that would be in focus. And again, this time, we don't want to insert some special keys or modifier like Alt or Control. We just want to insert V and Enter. So again, curly braces, letter V, and just right next to it, curly braces and Enter. Now, you need to put those keystrokes right after the other. If I do V and then I put enter on an overline, this is not going to work. They need to be together for them to work. And again, we can just increase that to 100. This is milliseconds and send the text as hardware keys. Yes. And then click save. Just for good measure, because we want to see the data very clearly, we're going to just resize the columns. Resize columns and rows. That's our Excel instance. We're going to resize each column. For the selection range, we have a single range or all available. We're going to select our range. We're going to start at column A 
And then for the end column, we are going to use our first free column. And again, we're going to do a minus one. So it stops at the column before. Click on save. We're going to save our bot and we're going to run the flow. And as you may have seen, we had the window, the paste spatial window, and then we have our new people know formulas worksheet. And those are just plain text. And now you can see that those two columns are now plain text. We do not have the formulas that we had on the first sheet. Remember, this is not because you do not have a native action in Power Automate Desktop that you cannot do it. Think about of all the actions that are not present and you can still do them because you know about the shortcuts.